catching cheaters one at a time. It's Cheaters Hotel, only on Power 104.3. Dex, Candace K, it's Power 104.3 and Cheaters Hotel, where we test out relationships. If you feel like someone has been stepping out on the relationship, cheating, or anything along that line, you reach out to us. Megan has been reaching out to us for the past few weeks. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. My boyfriend and I have been together for two years. Before we lived together, he would sleep over every once in a while, but after two years, we decided to get around place. Within the last few weeks, he's just been, like, sleeping on the couch. I don't understand why. He says that he doesn't feel well, he's been feeling a little under the weather, but three weeks, something is just not adding up. I don't know if maybe he's cheating. I don't want to believe that. I'm pretty sure he's the one, but if something's going on behind my back, I kind of would like to know now. I don't want to look like an idiot for living with a guy who's cheating on me. Well, yeah, especially since he just moved in. Yeah, that soon? So basically half the time you guys have lived there, he's basically been on the couch. Yeah. And he's still sleeping on the couch. Yeah. Wow. All right. I can see your concern. We're going to call him up. Candace is going to offer him up this romantic trip to Vegas, and hopefully he's going to want to take you, and he'll say your name. If not, then of course we've got to ask some tough questions. Just about two songs away. Dex, Candace K on Power 104.3. Time for Cheaters Hotel, putting relationships to the test with Dex and Candace K on Power 1043. Quick recap if you're just joining us. Mm -hmm. So Megan and her boyfriend have been together for two years and they moved into their own place two, three months ago. But her boyfriend Paul has been sleeping on the couch for the last three weeks. And she's got that suspicion. You got that feeling. It is odd that he's been on the couch for three weeks. He won't sleep in the bed with her. Right. Even though they're totally fine with sleeping in the bed before. So Megan is going to listen in. We're going to go ahead and call him up, offer him this trip, and hopefully he's going to want to take Megan. Hello? Aloha, is this Paul? Yes. Who's calling? Aloha, Paul. My name is Sharon. I work with a travel agency here in town called Aloha Vegas Getaways. I'm calling to let you know that your name has been selected as one of our weekly weekend getaways to Las Vegas. Your good friend recently took a trip with us and signed you up for the weekly flyaway. It's your lucky day. Your name was drawn. You're this week's big winner, which means you are going to Las Vegas. Is this real? Yes, for real. Wow. Awesome. Let me tell you what we're going to set you up with, all right? All right, let me know. Two round-trip tickets to Las Vegas from Honolulu, a two-night stay in one of the MGM Grand's 1,300-square-foot parlor suites, custom-made bathrobes for you and your guest, plus food and gambling credits. Now, Paul, best part about all this, no strings are attached. I don't need a credit card or anything like that. All I need to move forward is the first and last name of the guest you'd like to bring with you, and then I'm going to sign you guys up. And you can take this vacation to Las Vegas whenever you want. Do you have an idea of the person you'd like to bring with you to Las Vegas? Her name is Natalie. Last name? Got it. All right. Now, as an added touch, I'm going to help you leave a personalized card on the bed for your guest, Natalie, to read as soon as she gets into the room. I just need a quick message you'd like to leave for her on the card and we'll be all set to go. Now, because you are traveling to Las Vegas, this note can be short and sweet. It can be playful and sexy. It's totally up to you. Okay. Um, finally, we get the alone time we've wanted and... It's all alone with you. All right. Hey, so, Paul. Yes? This is Dex. Actually, you're on our radio show. This is Dex and Candace K on Power 104.3, and we do a segment called Cheaters Hotel, where we test relationships out to see if someone's been cheating. Paul, I I understand you want to take Natalie, and you've been needing that alone time, but Mm -hmm. what about Megan? What about Megan? What about Megan? Megan? Who the f*** is Natalie? Oh, I'm sure it's not. Your note said you waited forever to spend alone time with her. She's my childhood friend, and we grew up with each other. Hold on. I just want to get this straight. You're telling me that you need to spend alone time in Vegas with your childhood friend in a hotel room. That sounds pretty stupid. You want to hang out with your childhood friend in the hotel. So you want to take a a whole trip with her to Las Vegas? You don't want to take your girlfriend? You want to take your childhood friend? I'm, like, currently at a loss for words. I just feel like everything's coming at me at once. Are you sleeping with your friend? I mean, yeah. I've slept with her, yes. No, Recently? Are you? I mean, yes. I her. We were reconnected, and I really like her. I didn't know how to tell you. Why don't you give me the key to the apartment, and I'll figure out rent on my own, and you can move out today. I pay half of that rent. There's no way I'm moving my stuff out. What yes, you are, and if you don't, I'll move it out for you. Don't even dare touch anything. That is mine. When did this happen? It was about a month ago. So two months into moving in with your girlfriend, you cheated on her. 
You've been together with this girl for two years, and two months into moving in, you decide to cheat on her? I mean, here, here's also the thing. Well, Megan was, in the beginning of the relationship, very much promiscuous. Wait, I mean, are like, you trying what? to say that Megan has cheated on you? Megan, is yeah, that true? are you calling me a cheater now? We argue about this all the time. No, no. You, can't you being jealous you because I have you. male friends and we get flirty sometimes is not the same as cheating. Yeah, but the intent is there. What? Okay. Oh, wow. So now you're trying to blame her. You know how long it's been since we've had sex? Come have on, man. At least three weeks. Couch? I can't even tell you how many months it is. It feels like a year. Then why you would you move in with her? I don't know. Just change? I'm, I'm not, like, really good with disappointing people, you know? Let me tell you, buddy. You're real good at it. I hate that this has happened, Megan. At this point, I don't know how you guys are going to be able to coexist. No. Nope. Because, I mean, like, you can't live together after something like this. Megan, is there anything else you want to say to him right now? No, definitely not. I don't want to see right. him again, honestly. Paul? Megan, I think we could work things out. What? I mean, obviously we can communicate. <laughs> That's going to be a hard task, buddy. Do you think your partner is cheating? Send Dex and Candace K a DM at Power 104.